I wanted to create a video uh, to show new users how to set up a Bittrex account uh, the most secure way possible. Now, if you haven't seen my video of when I actually lost $20,000 from silly mistakes that I made, check it down in the, in the uh, bottom right hand side corner, you can uh, check that video out. So in this video, I'm going to show you just quickly how to set up 2FA. Uh, which is you know two-factor authentication, which is really important, and you need this feature enabled in order to use uh, a few of the other features. Okay, so also a VPN, which is a way of masking your IP address so that you can stay anonymous online, and it's a safer way to use that IP address to actually make the withdrawals um, because it's masked and it's harder to find. Also, an IP whitelist, which means that only the IPs that you stipulate will be able to withdraw and also a withdrawal whitelist which means that you associate certain coin addresses that can only be used to withdraw to and also API keys which is where I made the mistake with the 20,000 that I lost and I'll show you how to do that correctly okay so let's get started So the first thing we need to do is enable 2FA. Now you can just type in Google Authenticator and depending on your device, uh, you can either install it on iOS or on Android. Okay, and once you have that installed on your device, you need to come to your Bittrex account, click on Settings, and then Two-Factor Authentication, okay? And then what you need to do is you need to open up your 2FA program that you've installed, your app that you've installed on your device. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, just open up it on my device. You'll be able to see it on here um, in a second. I'm just going to connect this up and then you'll be able to see me do it. Okay connect this up okay so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use this so you can see this um, and I've already got 2FA on here which is right here okay now what I'm going to do is I will just move this down a bit to about here Okay, and I'm just going to click on here and add a new one, scan barcode, okay, and then I'm going to come up to there and it's already done it, okay, so if we pull this up to the side a little bit, let me just uh, resize this a little bit, okay, so if I scroll down here, you can see right at the bottom now I have the Bittrex one, so you've got to get this in before it turns red. Okay, that's the thing with 2FA, it only cycles, that's to, you know, obviously help stop hackers. So all I'm going to do is, I've got 296, 296, 207, and then I'm going to click on Enable 2FA, okay. Now it's going to send me a email, just to verify, alright. So let me just uh, move this out of the way. Okay, um, now I need to check my email. It's on the other screen here, so let me just check that and see if it's come through. And it looks like it has. Okay, so my email's come through, so I just need to click on that to verify. Okay, now I need to re enter the um, code, which changes um, all the time. So I'll just put in the new one there 234. 328 and then enter. Okay, so now we have 2FA on our account. So if we go to settings and then two factor authentication, you can see that it's enabled. Okay, so next we're going to look at the VPN service to mask our IP address. 
Okay, so what a VPN allows you to do is mask your IP address. So you can basically go on online using a different IP address and it masks your uh, actual connection IP address. So this is good if you want to stay anonymous online and it's really good for using this as an extra security layer um, on Bittrex or on any exchange. So I just use this one here. Um, and I mean, there's probably plenty more, but this is the one I use and it costs about $39, $39 uh, a year. Okay. So, but you can, you know, you can do your own research. So I'll just show you quickly how this works. I already have it installed and I have it in the menu here. You can see it just here. Um, so I'll activate it and it will obviously go through my antivirus, my firewall. Uh, so my file will come up and ask and I'll allow it. Okay, so it says it's disconnected right now. So basically all you have to do is come down to your menu here and right click on it and it will show you all the countries um, or states that you can log in through. Okay, so for this example, I'm just going to use France. Okay, and it says it's connecting. Once it's connected, it will actually show you here. It should come up with a pop-up. Okay, you are connected. So if we go um, to what's my IP? Oops. What's my IP.org? And you can see here's the address. Okay. And if I, so it's in France or Amsterdam or you know in that area anyway okay so this is not your IP address but this is what everybody sees you as okay so in this next video the next part of the video I'm going to show you how to whitelist your IP so in your Bittrex account when you come to settings just come down to IP whitelist you can see here you've got address and authenticator so all you need to do is basically input all the IP addresses uh, that you want associated with your Bittrex account that will allow withdrawal. Okay, so now if you come, if, if we look back at this VPN, you can see the IP addresses here. Okay, so I've just put this in Notepad just so I can see it right here. So all you need to do is put in 196 and then uh, 54. Oops. 54 and then uh, 55 and then 37 and then you just enable it with your authenticator so you need to go to your device and put in the code here which is 364722 and then set address okay now you can see that that's set the address here so what this means is that only this IP address will be allowed to withdraw. Okay. Now, if you're using Coinergy, for example, and you add a new account, you'll have the option to click here for IP whitelist. Okay. So what you can do is, I've got this blurred out, but under here is a whole heap of IP addresses. And you basically, all you do is you just copy them and then you can add them in here, okay? So with this particular, with Bittrex, you need to add them one by one. So you just need to go through the process and add all the IP addresses. Now that's if you want uh, to add Coinergy with the um, API, okay? So that's basically what we need to. Now just bear in mind that with a VPN, the IP address may change slightly so it might be a range so you may need to add a few IP addresses in here um, to compensate for your VPN service. They don't usually set a one-off IP address, it usually changes the range a little bit but it's usually not only by a few numbers so you might, you might need to add like four or five IP addresses down here. Okay. Alright so in the next part of the video we'll look at withdrawal whitelist. Okay, so same thing, settings, and then withdraw whitelist. Now, 
what you can do is you can set certain addresses with certain coins so here you just put in BTC for example so and then you'd put in your Bitcoin address okay that you want to withdraw to now this means that nobody even if your account did get compromised they could only send a Bitcoin to this address okay now the same goes with the way that you set this is you need to put in your authentication code okay so 798-660 and then set address okay so you can see that now this is Bitcoin address so that's the only one that can be used now you can do this with as many coins as you want for example um, I'll do this with EOS um, no actually I won't do it with EOS because it's not on Bitrix yet but what I can do is I'll do it with Gollum okay Gollum um, GNT so all you need to do is put in GNT in here okay and then the address for your GNT and then the same thing so we'll just put in our code one six two and then set address okay so you can basically do this with all the coins that you have um, invested in in your Bitrix account okay so that's your withdrawal whitelist next we will have a look at the API keys okay same thing settings and then API keys now API keys are used for uh, if you want to connect um, third-party programs like or apps like Coinergy um, or any you know apps that utilize the API key it can, there are many out there but the most important thing that you do is you don't enable the withdrawal function now that's the mistake I made uh, and that's how I was able to get compromised okay so the way that you add a new key is just come to add new key okay now read info yes trade limit trade market okay those are the only three that you need to do this withdrawal do not touch it just leave that <laughs> okay and then just in here add your uh, code again one six three four five five and then update keys okay one six three four five five okay so now you have your key and your secret all right now if you were connecting to Coinergy you would just add new exchange account under accounts and this for example is Bitrix and then here you would just put just call your uh, account a name and then the public key here and the secret key here okay and confirm and that's it okay so now we have a password okay we have 2FA okay we have for another level of security we have IP whitelist we have withdrawal whitelist okay and on our API key we haven't enabled withdraw okay so now that basically is the uh, best security setup that you can do in Bitrix okay but like always don't keep too many funds on any exchange it's not worth it anything could happen uh, so you know just be wary um, so I hope this helps and if you've got any questions um, be sure to uh, leave a comment and if you want to subscribe and like, that would be appreciated as well. Peace.